G'day, it's Joel Rasmussen for Southern Cross Combat, and I'm here with the man who's being pulled in a billion directions. I'm here with the human highlight reel, Harry Webb. Harry, congratulations on the victory. How are you feeling? Yeah, good, brother. Good. I'm uh, happy to be here. Um, it was a sick fight. Uh, I want to thank Abdullah for really testing me in there and um, had to go through a little bit of adversity, which is good because I proved that I can go through adversity and um, still get the job done. So, yeah. John looked pretty happy. I did talk about how uh, how he's probably upset that you're not using all the distance. The, all the distance, still not used. All the distance, yeah, still not used. You did say that. Um, fuck, what a waste of time this training camp was. Well, no, nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> like you said, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So, um, yeah, sorry, what was the question again? The it, wasn't, it wasn't even a question. John happy. Yeah, John was happy. It wasn't even a question. Mate. Yeah, it was a statement, wasn't it? How's, uh, how are you enjoying the new necklace? You've got a bit of hardware here, you've got a bit of hardware here. Yeah. Is that something you're going to bring into your uh, your everyday garb? I don't know, it's a bit big, but it is nice. Thanks uh, to the jeweler I cannot remember the name of, but thank you. And thank you, Hex, for the big shiny belt. Uh, it's my 16th belt. Fucking Jesus. Where do you put them all? Have a couple at the gym, a couple in my bedroom, a couple on the bookshelf, a couple around the house, you know. Coming out of your ears. Mate. It's, um, yeah, that's what our amateur titles are for, mate. <laughs> so uh, you walked out to uh, to Superstar uh, today, and uh, I immediately made the comparison to uh, Mr. O'Malley, who who did a very similar thing. Was that that was on purpose? Yeah, I'm a big uh, O'Malley fan, and he did um, actually walk out to it earlier before he fought Aljo. I can't, I might have been the Almeida fight, but um, I was going to walk out to it previously, and then when he did the um, the Superstar for the Aljo one. And then this one, it was like, it was a massive fight for me and, you know, like 3-0, and all the hype, all that sort of thing. And I just, you know, I thought it was fitting. So, yeah, and it was uh, obviously, yeah, it was fitting. Do you feel like that was your, not obviously the last moment for you, but was that your O'Malley capturing the title moment for yourself? Yeah, I think so. Like at, at this level, um, yeah, it was pretty much as good as it can get, you know, take out the number one pound for pound. So, yeah, it doesn't get too much better. It's funny how you just live up to that human highlight reel name. You don't hunt for it, but it seems to appear, doesn't it? Yeah, 100%. Like, that's... John knows, mate. I told you. John knows. He knows that I was going to stop people, and, yeah, now I believe it. And um, yeah, everyone else can uh, see it as well. So, so uh, in the cage, uh, you made a call. You made a call out to some people, and I want to just give you the opportunity to make that call again. Um, yeah, it was hopeful, obviously. Like, you got to put it out there. You never know. Um, but whatever happens, you know, I'm, if I need to fight again in June, I'll be ready to go in June on Hex. So, um, yeah, but if it is, Dana, give us a call, brother. <laughs> That's uh, Harry Webb 155 on, uh, on Instagram, I believe. 155, yes. Put it in the DMs. Uh, talking about that, you know, is there anyone who is on a list? We talked about it before the fight. You said you weren't looking past this one. Is there people in the scene that are next for you? No, nah, just whatever they offer me, honestly. Um, there's a bit of a... There's a bit going on in the lightweight division, so um, we'll see what who Hex uh, comes with, to us with next, and um, that'll be where we go from. So, how was it to walk out there and the whole crowd is like going absolutely ballistic for you? Yeah, I fucking love that. I love that shit. So that's um, that's what I do this for, really. Like, I always feel I'm always saying to myself like this is like a, a video game moment. That's how I feel when I'm walking out, and it's like I've just got to if I can just be present in that moment and just enjoy it, like, it's honestly the best thing. And you can't, you cannot describe to anybody who hasn't done it what it's like. So, yeah, it's unreal. Bit of the main character, aren't you, Harry Webb? A little bit. Literally, like, main character type <laughs> shit. <laughs> and uh, uh, finally, uh, as you were walking back uh, after, after winning the belt, uh, there was a moment you jumped up onto the, like, fencing where their seats were and you embraced someone. Who was that? That was my dad. Um, yeah, I, I love that I can make him proud. And that's something that really makes makes me proud. And, um, yeah, so shout out, Dad. You're a legend. Um, and, yeah, he's, they always support me and, uh, and believe in me. So, um, yeah, they'll do anything for me. And, yeah, it's good it's good to have that moment. Harry Webb, the night belongs to you. I thank you for the time. I know you're a man who gets talked to by a lot of people, so I appreciate you talking to me. Thanks, Recover and enjoy your night in Melbourne before you head back to Ballarat. I will, brother. I'll have to get some burgers in here. Let's go. Well deserved.